everybody, Dave Fontaine here at Wayne Toyota. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the Toyota Connected Services. What exactly is involved in that and how that may influence your next Toyota purchase. First thing we're going to talk about is Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Almost the entire Toyota lineup in this current year comes with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. And essentially what that is, is once connected to your vehicle, it allows a hands-free um, option for you to use some of the apps on your phone on the display in the vehicle. So let's go out to a 2021 Tacoma and I'll show you exactly how that works. Okay, here we are in a 2021 Tacoma. Um, I'm an Apple person, I have an iPhone 7, so I'm gonna show you on my phone how this operates. You have to make sure, of course, that uh, it, whether it be an iPhone or an Android, that it is compatible it, it, with the vehicle. Um, obviously, if it doesn't have that software, it's not going to communicate with the car. The second thing you need to know is that you have to use a, an OEM cable, which is the original equipment cable that came with your phone. Uh, you can't use an aftermarket cable. It will not work. You'll be very frustrated, been there. So make sure that you do have your OEM cable. Plug it directly into your phone and then into the communication port here in the vehicle and in a couple of seconds you'll see it pop up on the screen right there apple carplay um, all from this point on all you need to do is tap on the screen and there is the apps that you are able to use um, through apple carplay so music of course any phone calls text messaging that type of thing you can go through siri in an apple phone and uh, google assistant of course if you're in an android and you just communicate through that, say, I want to text so-and-so, this is what I want to say, and it'll send it through the vehicle. There's several things you can do. The one thing that most people like to use with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is the map option. There you are. So whatever is on your, would be on your phone is now on the main screen. You can search, put in your address. If you're just looking for a gas station, there you go. If you happen to want to type in an address, there you go. It's very convenient. You can do all of this through Siri. You don't have to type things in, take your hands off the uh, steering wheel, so it's very safe. And there's all the apps that it will allow you to use in the vehicle. One thing to note that if you are using Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, it does use data. I use mine all the time and I've not ever gone over my plan so it doesn't use a ton of data but it, it will uh, impact your um, plan. So that's Android Auto and uh, we're going to now talk about the app. The next component uh, with the connected services we're going to talk about is the Toyota app and what it, uh, it offers. Um, most of the mid trim levels, um, XLE premiums and the platinums in the RAV4s and all the premium trim levels in the trucks come with the app. And it does several things. When you purchase a vehicle, before you leave the dealership, we always like to have the app loaded on your phone and make sure that everything's uh, connected and working for you. It activates all the uh, features in the vehicle including the SOS system which we're going to talk about later so essentially once you have the app loaded it's that one right there we open it up uh, I have mine uh, set through a, a thumb imprint so it comes up automatically and the first thing that comes up of course is the remote start uh, this remote start in this vehicle you can start through the app or you have a key fob as well the number four, of course, is going to tell you there's something wrong. In this instance, because we're sitting in the vehicle, it's telling us the doors are unlocked. If you happen to keep your wind or your windows are rolled down, you go in the house, it's going to alert you. Very good that way. Of course, it tells you the current kilometers, where you are gas mileage wise and distance to empty. Uh, essentially, all you need to do, as long as you're in some kind of Wi-Fi, is well, I'm going to have to lock my doors here first. There we go and hit the start button it will circle for a good 10 or 15 seconds and then it will start your vehicle if for some reason it doesn't start it will tell you why right here now at the it's telling me that it didn't start and we'll find out why here
My driver's side door is unlocked. My rear doors are unlocked. So now we're going to go back. I'm going to lock the doors. So at this point, we now know there's no notifications there. The doors are locked. There shouldn't be any reason why we shouldn't start, be able to start the vehicle. We're going to hit the go ahead and hit the start button. It takes a few seconds in order for it to activate. It's now connecting to the truck. Sending the request, of course, and then it should say completed. There we go. So the vehicle now is running. It'll run for 10 minutes, and then at that point, it'll turn off. I can restart it a second time. It'll run another 10 minutes, and then I physically have to go out and start the vehicle again to reset it. So while that's running, if I decide that I want to turn it off, I can just hit that button again. It'll stop. If I want to unlock my doors to let somebody in, uh, I can just hold that button down, the remote start will stop, and then the doors are open. If I scroll down here, these are some of the other features that the app does. Last park location, maybe you're at the Mall of America, you can't remember which level you're on, that'll tell you. Health report, this is a great feature. It tells you several things. Uh, once you open it up, it's going to tell you if there are any recall notices, any service campaigns. It tells you if there's any alerts on your vehicle and your maintenance schedule and exactly where you are with your kilometers, how your battery is in your key fob, and even the quality of your engine oil. We're going to move back and go down one more time to the service department. You can even set this app up so that if a check engine light comes on, the service department gets an email and they're alerted so then they can contact you to give you an idea if it's a, a very serious thing or if it's something as simple as you didn't tighten your your gas cap can also schedule your maintenance appointments gives you scores on how your driving is apparently I took 13 fast accelerations 44 harsh uh, cornerings and I braked hard five times <laughs> you can refresh that you can opt out several things recent trip so it'll tell you where you went how long it was how long it took you and then you have uh, manuals and warranties so if you're curious about what the warranty was on your vehicle or a certain component that'll tell you and of course if you don't have a hard copy of the manual you'll be able to see it there all the Toyota vehicles come with a three-year roadside assistance gives you more information and if you were in a situation where you needed a tow truck or some help, you can call and a number pops up automatically. And then this is just some information on connected services as well. And that's basically it. This uh, app is free. There's a trial period for one year. After that, if you did decide that you wanted to continue with it, it would be a $9.95 monthly charge. So that's the Toyota app. I use it all the time on my vehicle. It's very convenient and uh, I know you'll find it useful as well. So next we are going to talk about the SOS system in the vehicle. When you do uh, set up your uh, app, it also activates the SOS system. And if we look up here, most of these vehicles now come with this system and essentially if you're in an emergency situation, you can just flip that down, hit that button, and it activates a call center that will then help you. Whether it be a uh, flat tire, it even has on some of the vehicles that have built-in navigation, it has a navigational assist. So you're somewhere where you're lost, you can hit that uh, button, I don't know where I am, this is where I want to be, and they will give you coordinates that will send directly to your GPS that's built into your vehicle and help you get out of that situation. So that's basically, in a nutshell, the Toyota Connected Services. If you have any questions about this or anything else, don't hesitate to give us a call here. We'd be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching, and stay safe.